Hello everyone, welcome back to Cloud Synapse Academy. In this session, we are going to discuss about AWS VPC Peering. So why do we need VPC Peering? Imagine I have an application deployed in a private subnets and like you know, those servers are in a two different uh, like maybe a region or in a different VPC. In that case, if you want to connect from private subnet from one VPC to another private subnet in another like you know VPC, uh, we need uh, we, like you know the private subnets are not having the internet access, but still we can connect each other through creating a VPC peering. So giving a, a connection between two different uh, like you know private servers or private subnet servers, we can create a VPC peering. Using a VPC peering, we can communicate uh, like you know with uh, multiple servers simultaneously. And the only prerequisite for creating VPC is like the private IP should be different in both uh, like you know VPCs. So like it uh, like you know uh, let me give the brief uh, about the VPC peering. So user can traffic between route the traffic between VPCs using private IP address without going through the public internet. And then we can uh, reduce uh, like you know, data transfer cost and improve the performance. And VPC uh, pairing is very secure and it is encrypted uh, to stay within the AWS network. And it will reduce the complexity of the uh, building an architecture because once you uh, complete the VPC peering it will be uh, considered as a single environment so the maintenance is very easy the only limitation is like we should not uh, like you know give the same IP address for the uh, like both VPCs so that is the prerequisite so like uh, let me quickly tell what else we have to do so the IP address should be like you know different in a both uh, different uh, uh, CADR blocks and then we have to uh, create a route table in both uh, account sites and we need a account ID if we are using a, a like you know connecting the VPCs from another account definitely we need a account ID without wasting any time let's get into demo. So I have a VPC in two different uh, region. So this is my Mumbai region. So in Mumbai region, I have a VPC called Mumbai VPC and I have a subnets like public and private subnet. Okay, so how I am going to do is like I'm gonna create a uh, server in uh, private and I'm going to show you how I can connect with the another VPCs, uh, sorry, another, yeah, another uh, regions VPCs, private subnet. Let me choose uh, North Virginia. So in this, I have uh, again, like, you know, one VPC called VPC peer and uh, subnets. I have two subnets, one is private and another one is public. So I'm going to show you like I'm going to uh, communicate from this server to another server. Let me quickly deploy a servers in these two uh, like you know servers and then I will connect with you. So I have a server in two different region. So let me show you quickly. So this is my server one which is 10.0.1.0. 222 and then the other one is in uh, Mumbai region and it is 172.31.1.76 okay let me try to ping the other one we copy this IP 10.0.1.122 10.0.1.122 so it's not pinging now the same way I am doing the doing it in another side let me ping that one
so it's not pinging as well so let me quickly show you how we can create a pairing connection and we can connect these two instances okay so let me go to vpc and the left hand side you can find a pairing connection Okay. So create pairing connection, and then we have to get pairing connection name VPC pairing and then choose your VPC, the requester, this one is requester and this is the IP of that and if you are using a same account we can use my account or like if you use another account we can choose the other account option but for this example i'm going to use the same and whether it's going to be same region or different region we have to choose that one too so this is going to be a different region and i'm going to choose a region called mumbai episode okay, one and then vpc id okay let me get the mumbai regions vpc id So your VPC and let me quickly select Mumbai VPC's ID. This is a VPC ID, right? Let me copy this. Okay, and then we can paste it here. Now accept it. Paste it. And then create pairing connection. So I have given a pairing request from North Virginia side, and now I'm going to accept it from Mumbai region. So let me go to pairing connection again in Mumbai region and I have got the request. So let me choose the request and then we can accept the request. Even we can reject the request if you don't want to accept it but for this we are giving an accept request. That's all. Accept. So that's all. So this is provisioning. It will take a little time like maybe one or two minutes it will be ready meanwhile we have to create a uh, route table for this uh, pairing connection let me quickly create a route table for this go to route table create route and this is for a pairing route i'm giving a name pairing r key and then choose our vpc this is our vpc and create table and then we have to create a routes routes we have to choose a default value 000 and then in target we have to choose pairing connection so our pairing connection is popped up select that and save changes okay so i have created a routes now let me create a subnet association so here which which are the subnets we need to connect with the another region so then like you know another vpc then we have to choose it so here my private uh, subnet is going to connect so the servers within this private subnet is going to access the another region's servers so i am choosing that private so this side uh, all the settings are ready so let me quickly go to vpc in north virginia let me create a route table here as well so route table we have to create at both places so i'm creating a route table and give me a same name pairing route and then choose our vpc so vpc so create route and then in route section edit routes add route default value 000 and then target is going to be our pairing connection that's all so the pairing connection route is ready and we can do the subnet association so from this side i am going to use the like private of this vpc 
sorry, uh, this subnet. Same association, so that's all. That's everything. So both sides, uh, like you know, all the settings are ready. Now let's go to our server. So this is my server one, and it can it's pinging now with the this. It can connect with this server. Same way here as well. It's already started. I am pinging from one seventy two thirty one one dot seventy six, and I am pinging this IP. So now. This is my private server of uh, like you know uh, North Virginia, which is connecting to the Mumbai region's private server. So that's everything. This is how we can like create a pairing connection between two different VPC. So thanks for watching, and please do subscribe and give us support. Bye for now.